hate mouth, yo. <laughs> Beat them out. You know, that's our statement. Beat them out. Beat them out, the rest don't count. You win, you, you get to talk smack for the rest of the year, you lose. Kind of don't get to say much for the rest of the year, but... They had day time where they kept winning and winning and winning, and now, you know, it's our time. You know, it's just what people do on Thanksgiving morning. You know, it's Thanksgiving morning. What do you do? Well, we're going to the Mount Hayes game. The senior spins, slips away from tackles, and goes 67 yards for the first of three touchdowns in the quarter. Hayes scores 29 straight points and never looks back. says Thanksgiving better than football and CJ O'Neill said it's a Bronx tradition just like the Yankees in Arthur Avenue Thanksgiving morning Cardinal Hayes and Mount St. Michael and Randy Samuel set to kick off as Mount won the toss but deferred so they will kick to the dynamic Jeremiah Cobina and Cardinal Hayes to start things off Jeremiah Cobina class of 2010 it was just a lot going on um, coach O'Neill was in tears like it was, it was so much that was happening that day, uh, and um, it's truthfully one of those moments I will never ever forget, man. Earl Latson Jr., class 2009. But we knew if we beat Mount, we make history, and so we just took that same mentality that let's go make history. And uh, for me, you know, that turkey bowl was also my birthday, and I was like, you know what, I gotta empty the tank. This is all I got. This is gonna be our last game. Me and my boys, like, let's ride. Emotion poured out onto the field here at Mount St. Michael as Cardinal Hayes won the Turkey Bowl for the first time since Jimmy Carter was president of the United States. I don't know. Uh, it's, a little, uh, it's a little overwhelming right now. Uh, this group of kids I got playing for me right now are just filled with character. They didn't have any give up in all season. It was a long season. And that says a lot about men. It's amazing, man. Like I can't explain. I got mixed emotions. Like At the end of the game, I didn't know whether to cry or... It was just ridiculous. I remember at the end of the game, uh, News 12 uh, gave, gave me an interview, and I had told them that, you know, we were the best team to ever come through Hayes that year and because we beat Mount. We were the only team to beat Mount in, what, 24 years? Oh, no, not, not 24 years, what, 28 years, right? Since, what, Jimmy Carter or some stuff like that? Like, it was real old. I mean, no, nobody can change that. You know, we're the best team at Hayes in 27 years. 27 years. That is, that is a lifetime to And I caught a lot of slack that Monday morning <laughs> from a lot of alumni. Like, oh, like, what are you, like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, y'all, like, y'all wasn't that good. Like, I, you know what? I think the biggest thing about this game, and society has let traditions fade away. And, you know, this is one tradition that stuck. And, and, you know, we, we got to keep it alive. That's a very important thing. It, it's special. It, it's part of the fabric of the Bronx and, you know, the fabric of New York that, that, you know, makes this a special place, 
makes his two special schools that meet every Thanksgiving morning. C.J. O'Neill, head football coach, Cardinal Hayes High School. We were, we were coming out and we were, we were paying them back for all the years that they did that to us. We got steamrolled. They, uh, they came out and uh, they executed. We didn't. Uh, we just didn't make enough plays. It's one of the last traditions that still stick around in this world. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep coming back every Thanksgiving. I can remember entering Cardinal Hayes in 1976 as a freshman, September. And we were in homeroom and you would, they would count down the days before the mount game. So as a freshman, you in here trying to understand we're counting down a football game. What I see on that day is, is the camaraderie of the alumni and the faculty and everybody. And, and it doesn't matter what year you graduated from, you know, we're all haze men and we're just there talking our experiences and what have you. And we do care about the outcome of the game. You know, the, uh, the outcome is very important. We want to win. It's called beat them out. You know, that's our statement, beat them out. Abdul Rahim Ali the class of 1980. But I knew senior year we was going to win. We just had that like determination and that motivation, you know, that perseverance. So that's why we won. But when I think of, when I think of Mount, it's just like win because we ain't beat them. Be proud of themselves. Um, you know, uh, the unfortunate thing is you always remember that last one. We were here four years ago and we, and we came up on the, uh, on the wrong side of it, but uh, hey, great opportunity and we, uh, Turkey's going to be pretty sweet tonight. Jahar Bryant, Class of People used to like get their outfit ready for the games. I don't know if you remember, like people would be like, yo, what you wearing to the turkey bowl? And then being that we was in the chip and the turkey bowl, people calling my phone, like, yo, what I gotta wear? What I got I'm, I'm trying to come, you know, dress nice. I want people to see how I'm looking. So that that was big, man. A lot of people was there and they was they was counting on us. And and we wanted it. I guess we wanted it more than them. For the game, I was just like, yo, I'm gonna score on this play. Like, it's it's gonna come. Like I already know it's gonna open up. Isaiah Williams class of 2015. When they called it, I was just like, this is it. Like, this is the play. Roberto Nunez spots Isaiah Williams wide open. Check out the one-handed grab, 32 yards to pay dirt, 12 nothing Hayes. So like that one play right there, like boosted all the momentum. Like, oh wow, like Isaiah just caught a one-hand catch. And after that, like everybody just capitalized off of it. Cardinal Hayes wins back-to-back -back turkey bowls over Mount St. Michael, 32-0 the final. Being the first quarterback in the history of Hayes to win it two years in a row it means a lot to me and my team out there played their hearts out, defense and offense. We finally beat Mount back-to-back. -back. It was just an emotional game between my brothers and I and it feels good. We Joe DeShields and Keneal Warner gave us the pass over the middle, caught by Gallo Henson and he is gone. Nobody even near him. A 72-yard strike from Kwame Davis to Gallo Henson. Chris, with all those athletes, they can score in a hurry. That's why there's really no concern for C.J. O'Neal that Mount St. Michael scored so quickly. This offense has been explosive, averaging 30 points a game and over 400 yards of offense. Henson to come out the other side. And Henson this time on the throwing end to McAdoo. The two-point conversion is good. Amaker, Amaker is wrapped up. Gallo Henson was right there to make the stop in a hurry. 
It's hard to run the option if as a quarterback you can't even get down the line to the man you're optioning off of. Great penetration from Dowell Henson here. Watch number two. Look at the penetration. Fights off the block. Amaker never sees him. He's trying to string that out. Henson is all over him. Unveiled that spread offense, and it has been all roses from there. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you come into this game last year, Hayes was more of an option team, more of a wishbone-type team. That's what Mount St. Michael thought they were going to see last year. Think. Two minutes, 12 seconds left in this first half. And Cardinal Hayes down 21 to 8, trying to get something going and build some momentum going into the break. Here's Donald Thomas, a reverse for McAdoo. McAdoo's got some blockers, and he's got a seam. And McAdoo with a burst of speed, he is gone. A 72-yard run for Bryant McAdoo. Wow, they made that look pretty easy, too. You can throw out time of possession when you're talking about Cardinal Hayes. I, I was the uh, I was the, the New York State champion um, in the uh, the Catholic division for the hundred, and so everybody in you know in the Catholic league knew me as a track dude and like you know he's the fast fast cat you know, like Coach Cobina. It's hard to get on him for that. I mean, he's trying to help his guys out. He sees one of his white jerseys just surrounded by blue, trying to get a hit around the pile. Can't do it though. Makes a third. Very long. And Abraham Cossio caught the stick and then and pitched it back. And, and without a doubt, you know, it was just a tremendous play. And a short pass, a hook and lateral for Kabina. He's got some room. Kabina across midfield. Oh, like I couldn't hear anything. All I was just hearing myself breathing and just the ball, you know, brushing up against my jersey. Jeremiah Kabina, we've seen the big play from him all year long. And this one goes for 70 yards. Rich, this is unbelievable. Every time you think Cardinal Hayes is in trouble, they're able to get the ball to one of their wide receivers. And that athletic ability, and they just create monstrous plays. Couldn't have drawn this one up any better with the hook ladder on third and long. Watch this. Good job sitting in the pocket waiting for it to come over. It's a great catch, first off, by Acasio. He's got to go down and get it, and then delivers a perfect pitch to Gabina. And look at a track star go down the sideline. Uh, you talked about trying to find some space. That was exactly what they needed. We see the arm action. This trophy hasn't left Cardinal Hayes in a couple years now. Um, I want to say six or seven. George Dawson Jr., class of 2013. This trophy meant so much or means so much to this game. Um, winning the, when, when I walked in here, like I told you, in the 70s, that's all they talked about. Like, you got to win the trophy, the Mount Trophy, the Mount Trophy. And for years, it sat over there at Mount, and now it's here. And uh, it's a wonderful thing, and we're trying to keep it here, and we're going to keep it here. And um, just to be able to hold it 40 years um, now, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. I think it symbolized determination, motivation, and, and perseverance, you know, because we didn't, we didn't give up. You tell the kids every year, like, you know, you don't let up on your rivals just because they're having a bad year. You know, we, we took our lumps and we grew from it, and it's now that we're on top, you know, we have to teach people how we got here, what it took for us to get here, you know, because at Hayes we competed and we grind and we get better. I think it's very important that we protect the game. These games were played all over the Northeast for many years, and, and one by one they've fallen down, and now we're one of the few games left. And, you know, as I was saying earlier, that's something that's got to be kept in, in the fabric of our traditions. Um, we can't let these things go, we have to pass these down to the next generation. That's, that's what makes this area special, that's what makes this school special, is that there is this tradition, there is this power that comes from that. You know, guys before me, I'm doing what, what what they did before me and I'm going to try to do it a little better and I'm going to, you know, how am I going to be remembered?